This is the newest breed of Italian stallions. Maserati's new for 2021 Trofeo lineup. The Quattroporte Trofeo, the Levante Trofeo, and the car we're driving today, the Ghibli Trofeo. All Trofeos get a Ferrari-derived 3.8-liter V8 engine making 580 horsepower. That's nearly 600 horsepower in a compact sports sedan. Well, time to get into the beautiful Ghibli and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, Paul, it's definitely not a Ferrari because I don't have the start, the start button. button on the steering wheel, but it is a beautiful Maserati. Yes, it is. The Ghibli uh, Trofeo. Very, very cool. The 580 horsepower Trofeo. I know. So what does 580 horsepower st sound like at startup? The engine start is on the left, which is very a Porsche, Porsche yeah. Porsche and Saab and a few others. Very muted inside. Yeah, we closed the door. It surprisingly got really quiet. Yeah, this so. thing is very much a luxury car. <laughs> You're definitely not riding in something that just, you know, stuck a big engine into a really cheap car. But now we want to find out how it handles okay. and how it feels. Well, let's talk a little bit about the inside of this car before we go anywhere. Okay. Um, Beautiful carbon fiber. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The really carbon nice. fiber. We saw this on the Levante. Um, the carbon fiber work in Maseratis are just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's really, really nice, including giant oh, column-mounted paddle, paddle shifters. shifters in carbon fiber. Yep. You've got a clock, uh, which is very cool, uh, analog clock, I should say. Um, you know, what you don't have is like a bunch of, like we just got out of a Hyundai, there's no wireless charging pad. Um, you know, there's analog you, gauges. You're, you're on the you're on the racetrack. Do you really need to charge? No, you don't. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you got a claw, a suede headliner. I mean, it's it's just there's this is a different animal altogether, and it's one that we really really appreciate. So, uh, I'm assuming we go like this. Oh, you know what the problem yeah, with the exhaust is? Yeah, put it in core. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So actually, let's go back up into neutral. It's still a little bit. But you're in sport with Blue Corsa. No, it's a normal sport. Yeah, probably have to push the button. Three seconds. There we go. Oh, now we're in Corsa. Okay, so now we are in Corsa mode with auto start stop off. Unfortunately, it does come with auto start stop. It turned it off and it also turned off the anti-collision. Oh, good. As long <laughs> as it, you know, and trash control might be off. We may have to go back into sport in that course. Of the yeah, yeah, it did It did just finish raining. So yeah. especially in that we're gonna go on a, a road that's got um, lots of trees. So there's probably gonna be some wet. Yeah, we wanna be, we wanna have fun. We don't want to wrap this around a tree. Yes. So, oh, and just to reiterate, we are at a summer drive event uh, with journalists, and there's just a bunch of cars in a parking lot, and basically we just grab whatever's available, and we just came from lunch, so I ran over and grabbed, the, grabbed this one, because uh, this is one of the hot cars that everyone's trying to get into. Yes, so, it is. Um, so, yeah, so our what you're going to hear us say now are completely first impressions. We have not driven this before. We just sat in this car for the first time. Yep. We have nearly 600 horsepower underfoot. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, let's, oh, very nice touch screen, by the way. So, you know, you never really expect to see great technology coming out of any Italian brands. <laughs> <laughs> They're always the last to that party. I mean, they concentrate on things that we care about, like yeah, driving dynamics. And, 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 and also like craftsmanship. Yes, um, and but this is really impressive coming 
out of Maserati. This touchscreen is uh, huge, uh, very capacitive. I love it. Um, nice, very, very, very nice. Um, pinch to zoom. This is oh, and it's fast too. It's fast, and I can recenter. Um, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, so this thing is. A hundred and ten thousand dollars, as is, yeah, is. Uh, one seventeen, but it starts uh, okay. at it starts at one ten. So that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But you are getting six hundred horsepower. Now, to put that in perspective. There's a lot of cars that are about that much that even give you less than that. So I'm thinking Porsche. I'm thinking that LC five hundred. You know, they make less power than this, and they're charging you more money. It's just all about what matters to you. Do you like the styling of the Ghibli? Do you like the name Maserati? Do you like the heritage that it brings? Do you like the sound that it makes? Do you like column mounted paddle shifter? Because you really only get that in Ferrari, Alpha, and Maserati. Do you, you know, does this thing just speak to your soul? And that's why you would spend $110,000 in here. Uh, we're about to find out if it really is worth that because I have a twisty road coming up. Yes, looking forward to it. And by the way, you're not the only one that's going to be driving. I'm going to be driving too. Yes, we cannot <laughs> let our resident Italian not drive the Italian-made 600 horsepower sports car. No, for sure not. Sports sedan, I should say, because you actually yes, have, you have four seats. doors and rear seats. Not, not especially usable rear seats, but they are rear seats nonetheless. You know what? I mean, you can somebody can sit back somebody there. Could. I mean, you know, it's not super comfortable, but. It's not impossible, like in the back of some two, two plus twos. Woo! That is very nice. I did feel the back end get a little a squirrely. A little bit. We're gonna go back into just regular sport mode, just to be safe. Again, not my 600 horsepower car. <laughs> uh, seat controls could be a little more intuitive. I can't really, there, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Get a little bit closer to the wheel. Uh, Again, analog gauges, you do have a center digital stack, so this is very... Uh, old school. A little, it's, yeah, old school, like <laughs> four years ago old school, right? Exactly. So it's kind of weird that like that's now considered old school and not totally digital. But, oh my God! That is, that is a beast. Oh! <laughs> that is a beast. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That goes. That really, really goes. Okay, nobody's around. Okay, I mean, hold on, we gotta... Let's get it. All right, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Get ready for the green. Picked it up. Hold on. Let's go. Ready? One, two, go. Four point two. Four point oh two. Oh yeah, yeah. Four point oh two. So four seconds with two with people. Two people in, in the, the car. car. So we'll figure three point eight with uh, by yourself. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, nice. And we, you weren't even trying. <laughs> no, there was no launch control. I'm sure there's a launch control mode. I didn't use anything other than step on the gas at four seconds. And, and you, uh, could, you could hear that Ferrari derived engine. It's just glorious. Not doing any shifting and it shifts very nicely. We're gonna go over to manual mode and just see how it snaps. Now we always prefer manual transmissions, but if you're not gonna give us a manual, giving us column mounted paddle shifters and, and a, a transmission that sounds it does and an engine exhaust note that does that. Oh yeah. Fast shifts. Nice. Got, it sits well in the turn. Really well. Yeah, there is a little bit of lean, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I felt it, the lean. You can, it it kind of shifts its weight and then it sits down over there. So it's very stable though. Now the steering is very well weighted in sport mode. I think we have different suspension settings. Okay, so these are the sport shocks now. So you, your two suspension settings, regular and sport. There's a, there's a button So it has adaptive damper, so you're in a, a normal mode and a sport mode. Correct. And right now we are in sport with sport shocks. So basically two different modes between throttle response 
steering feel that's on the regular sport Corsa and of course the traction control will turn off in Corsa mode and then you've got your sport shocks. Now let's see, we've got our sport adapters on, yep, sport suspension and let's see how we do in the twisties. Does seem to be a hair less body roll. Well, body lean, it's not really Yeah, roll. body lean. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels good. This feels real good. How are the brakes? Let's find out. I think they're Ferrari good. The ABS comes out a little early, but again, we're on kind of a damp road right now. Yeah. But let's see if I was braking here, downshift. A little bit of understeer. Let's just go full manual. appreciate a little more exhaust note coming through the cabin and yeah so you hear you hear the whoosh you hear the engine definitely the engine note is nice could be a little louder especially you know um there's no sort of course exhaust uh, the sport and corsa mode does up the exhaust but they're sort of no full-throated exhaust mode yeah that's the only thing i would say is it's missing is it is it does the sound sound is a little isolated a little bit isolated it does feel really nice though and it looks good too you, you know Ghibli's kind of the been treated as the ugly stepsister of the of the Maserati punch because it just happens to be the least expensive sedan and I will grant you the early versions of it didn't quite live yeah, up to some of the yeah didn't live up, live up to Maserati's uh, design uh, or quality build I mean, there were some there were some questionable first you know early copies but no oversteer but um they've really improved i mean this interior has got to be all new because it's way yeah. leap years ahead of even like the alfa romeo quad uh the quadrifolio the julia um this is i love this interior better I mean, that one is nice and integrated but it, it doesn't have the big touch screen this has got like that. more of the quality leather stitching and all that kind of look yeah i mean if you want to really really impressive ride for six just over six figures you almost this is a, you should look at this car this is not, you're not going to go wrong with with one of these and ex exclusivity as well yes you would you not know. see yourself coming and going a lot in especially uh, this version the trophy yeah, yeah. all right paul is it time yes it is time i think it's time to give paul a chance at the wheel I like the seating position. It's actually nice. It is very nice. It doesn't leave a lot of room for the back seat passenger, but you know what? That's not what this car is all about. Oh, the accelerator. It's like connected to the brain. Like as soon as you touch it, mm -hmm. it just instantly. Yep. It's just really nice. Uh, from a passenger point of view, by the way, Excellent leg room. Uh, I could be very comfortable on a long trip in here. How about those brakes? Little understeer, yep. Yeah, a little understeer. Not too bad. Whoa, a little, little, little understeer. understeer. <laughs> Paul's finding the limits of the traction. That's why we keep it in sport mode. Let's run a racetrack. Which we, we would need to get one of these on a racetrack. That yeah, would be great, yep. Transmission just shifts so effortlessly. That's one thing you're never gonna be able to fault Maserati, Ferrari, Alpha on. Their engine and transmission combinations are, are delightful. They're just absolutely uh, the best. <laughs> I just love them. It's so, it's so good. This blue color, by the way, is simply electric. Yes. It so really nice. is nice. You do not get a giant sunroof, but you do get a sunroof. A lot, a lot of tree branches. A lot of debris <laughs> on the ground. Doesn't make for the best traction.
I would like to have another a heads up display here because gear selection. Gear, yeah. When you're in manual mode, that would have been really nice. Yes. Yeah, it gives you the gear indicator down center, and it's a little bit bigger than maybe some of the other ones, but not much. It's just not big enough either. Oh, but it's just so nice. So it, delightful to drive. It is fun to drive this car. And that's why you buy something like a Ghibli Trofeo. Yeah. Even the regular Ghibli, though, makes... 440 or 450 horsepower. Yeah, it's but not, one, once you drive yeah, this car, exactly. you're not going back to so that So this is one. the problem. If you don't have the money to spend on this car, do not start by driving <laughs> this car. Go get the regular Ghibli. But, uh, yeah, because you'll be spoiled and you'll be like, nah. I mean, look at the smiles on our faces. I know. This, is, yeah. this, this is awesome. You, if, if, you, if this doesn't do it, if your car doesn't do this for you, you're in the wrong car. <laughs> And you don't need to spend that much money to get this on your face because Miata's kind of do this to me too. But it's it, you just have to find the car that makes you smile, makes you want to drive it. And this is definitely right there at the top of the list of one of those vehicles. This is where they need to come trim the bushes back. It does shot fine and drive, by the way. I mean, the paddle shifters are great and they work awesome. The yeah, transmission and it, drive also just really it, good. Uh, they really programmed it well. I mean, you can just leave it and drive. Yeah. Some cars, you, like, you have to go into manual. This car is just, it, it, they programmed it very well that you could leave it and drive. Yeah. And it'll probably outdrive you. It will outdrive you, probably. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. But it also won't leave you hanging. It won't be like, come on, like, let's go, right? It has this nice low bass rumble right it when does. you start. It's not like it's a, uh, not, not like a big American, stop saying, American V8 rumble, but it's, a, it's just. Brakes are nice. nice. See that right there. You can carve up the B roads with this thing. Ah, oh, yeah, beautiful. It is, it is definitely a long sweeper. Oh, it loves the long sweepers. Yeah. And the brakes are just ah, oh, so delicious. So, what do you think, Brendan? Because I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I, you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I want one. Yeah. I, I want one of these. This yeah. is really nice. This is right up my alley. I mean, from the hood scoops that you can see, the the the, the heat extractors on the hood, this interior, these materials, the carbon fiber. You can still engine. put kids in the back if you want to, you know, take them to the movies or something. Exactly. I mean, it is, and the, the way it drives is just it's phenomenal. It's beautiful. Love really. it. Really nice. Bellissima. It is. It, and, and this is as basically as close as you're going to get to an entry-level four-door, four-seat Ferrari. Exactly, yes. So if that's what you're looking for, go check out this car. And don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.